you're going to need a large back towel today uh, for a workout. Back towel. Make sure you have that available to you. So we're going to be doing some floor scrubbers today or table scrubbers if you're going to be doing that variation. Okay, lady, you got to go to crate. Mm -hmm. All right, you're so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to mute you guys. We got all a bunch of uh, returning participants. So uh, today's Memorial Day workout is, is going to be uh, legs and upper body uh, intensive workout for so legs for am ambulatory athletes and uh, more arms for our seated athletes. And then you're definitely going to need a towel for the floor scrubbers or table scrubbers and uh, have some fun with this today. Uh, before we get started, does anyone have any aches or sorenesses that I should be aware of? Good. Shoulders? All right, good. And some people have let me know ahead of time too. So, good. So, we're going to get go ahead and get started. And uh, as we go through this workout, make sure that you make whatever modifications you need uh, to get through the workout. You do not necessarily have to do exactly what we're doing. Uh, even the modifications that I give, if you find a modification that works better for you, go ahead and do that modification. So we're going to start with our warm up. We're going to do our practice rounds. And then we're going to get into the workout here. I'm going to move this a little bit closer so it's easier to read the whiteboard. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing single leg deadlifts for our ambulatory athletes. We're going to sub that for single arm cleans for seated athletes. We're going to be doing some floor scrubbers. Uh, and so getting down to the floor, working the core. For our seated athletes who do not feel comfortable transferring down to the ground, we're going to do table scrubbers. Uh, but if you do have the ability to transfer uh, within it, uh, fairly easily, then go ahead and transfer to the floor and challenge yourself a little bit more that way. We're then going to transition to some split squats. Uh, and then we're going to substitute split push-ups for our seated athletes. And then for those of you who are still in the chair, we're going to go with the single arm plus an isometric combination overhead press. I'll get into that one when we get to it in the practice rounds. Uh, we're going to be doing some side elbow ups uh, for some core work. And then if anyone's still in the chair, we're going to be doing a side elbow up chair variation. Uh, quick show of hands. Is anyone going to be working exclusively from the chair today? No? So, okay, we got one. Okay. So, uh, and then, so I'll be sure to demo those variations. And then we're going to finish off with some bridges and then doing some uh elbow up variations for our seated athletes all right any questions on the workout for today all right I have, let's go ahead i have one question for you okay what's your question can i use a blanket instead of a towel because i don't even know where my towel is <laughs> yeah you can use I a have. blanket it's just yes, gotta be large is. enough to put like a, a heavy backpack on okay cool thanks yeah, that should work all right good so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna step on back and we're going to start warming up. So if you're going to be performing this workout primarily in seated, start in sitting. If you're going to be primarily working out in standing, start in standing. And let's start by doing a single arm shoulder roll, rolling your arm up towards your ear and then down the front of your body. Do one side at a time. Get that gentle shoulder roll. We're starting coming up your back towards the front. Elbow comes past your ear and then you slide it down the front. And then reverse the direction, bringing your shoulder up the front towards your ear to the back and then slide your shoulder blade down your rib cage and then repeat going in that circular motion. So I'm lifting my right shoulder up towards my ear, then rolling it back my rib cage. Good. Now let's do that on the other side. So I'm going to be doing my left side. I'm going to start by rolling my shoulder blade up my rib cage towards my ear and then rolling it down the front, rolling my shoulder blade up my rib cage towards my ear and then down the front. I'm going to do a couple more passes like this. 
and then reverse it. Come in, rolling the shoulder, the shoulder up the front towards your ear, and then rolling it back, sliding your shoulder blade down your rib cage. You're gonna have fun with this in a little bit. Test your coordination. Bring your shoulder up towards your ear, and then bring it to the back. Roll your shoulder blade down your rib cage. One more. Bring it up to the front. Shoulder goes towards your ear. Roll it back and back down. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have you roll your right shoulder up the front and your left shoulder is gonna roll up the back and we're gonna go in opposite directions. Work in that reciprocal motion. Bring your right shoulder up the front, left shoulder up the back. Both shoulders come up towards your ear and then Left, right shoulder slides down the back, left shoulder slides down the front. Work in that coordination. Good, and then reverse it. So now your right shoulder blade is gonna come up the back, left shoulder blade is gonna come up the front, towards your ears, and then right shoulder blade slides down the front, left shoulder blade slides down the back. Continue with that reciprocal motion. It's like a really weird dance move. There we go. Good. Couple more passes like that. Good, and then side bend your head one way, and then the other. Gentle side bends. Adding in that easeful movement. Getting a nice stretch side to side. Good, and then a little neck roll. Rolling your head from one shoulder around the back, looking at the ceiling towards the other shoulder, and then looking down. And then reverse your neck roll. Getting a few rolls here. We're not going to spend a ton of time here. Good, all right. Let's start by raising your arms up overhead. Extend back as far as you can, and then slowly roll on down. So I'm standing, we're reaching back, extend, and then gently roll on down. Come on up, extend back, and roll on down. And you can make this as exaggerated as you want. We can go the full extension, or you can maybe just put your hands on your hips. All right, arch on back, and then curl on forward. Arch on back, curl on forward. However much it feels good to you to do, you can do anything in between. <clears throat> and seated, just working in that motion, standing up, and then curling back down. And similarly, you could put your hands on your hips, extending back, curling forward, and rolling up. Kind of like a vertical cat cow. Good, a couple more passes like that. And then let's start with some twists. So in standing, flap your arms from one side to the other. Gain this little twisting motion. You should feel a twist starting from your feet, going up through your hips, into your spine, into your shoulders. Coming around, letting your arms kind of flick from side to side. And sitting, you're gonna be doing this in the chair. Try to get as big of a twist as you can. There we go. Good. Next, we're going to bring our arms into the midline and then extend out to this one side as far as you can. Bring them to midline. Extend out to one side as far as you can. Keep going. Reaching as far as you can. Add a little squat to this. There you go. Going side to side. Really reach as far as you can. Seated, we're coming out, come back to the middle, and reaching out. Good, continuous motion. Good, keep going. All right, and really reach through those fingertips, open up the side of your lats. The side that's facing the ceiling, 
as you reach over from side to side. Really stretch. Good. Couple more. Three, two, one. Good. Let's start with some jumping jacks. So, full version. If you feel comfortable with it, going all the way up. Feet come apart and then hop together. Hop the feet apart and then together. Bring the arms up overhead. If your balance is a little bit questionable, you can simply just do these in standing. And then bring your arms up and then slam them back down by your side. Good. You can shorten your lever arm by simply just bringing your arms up like so. I have my elbows bent and then bring them back down. A little shorter arm version. So instead of arms straight, you can do arms bent. Same thing in seated. Arms all the way up, slam them down. Or shorten your lever arm, bring your hands up and back down. Hands up, put them back down. Shorter motion. Whichever version is working for you, keep going for a few more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Split jacks. So in standing, full version, feet are gonna alternate forward and back. Arms are gonna crisscross in front. Alternate the top arm coming across the front or as you crisscross your arms and then really open up wide. Good. If your balance is questionable, you can just do the back slappers, alternating the arms that are on top, slap your back and then bring the arms and hands apart. Same thing in seated. Good. Opening things up a bit. Good. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. All right. How are people feeling right now? Good. Heart rate's elevated just a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started then in the practice rounds. So we're. First demo, that single leg deadlift. All right. And let me pin this video here. All right. So the single leg deadlift. What we're going to do, I'm going to first demonstrate the full version. So this is with the weight. Grabbing the weight. It's gonna, weight's going to be in the opposite arm of your stance leg. So right now, I am standing on my left leg. And then I'm going to hinge down and then come back up. From the side view, it looks like so. I'm hinging down and come back up. Back is flat the entire time, hips are level, just like so. So we can regress this. First, we can just get rid of the weight. And from here, hinge down. Whoop, I just fell over. Hinge down, come back up. So I'm maintaining that neutral spine, level hips, coming up and down. We can regress it a little bit further. By putting, putting your hands on a stable surface, you can probably bring the weight back a little if this if balance is just the only issue. And you can perform the hip hinge this way. There you go. So single leg deadlift with a little hand support, maintaining that neck level back and level hips. You can take away the, the weight, perform it just like so. If you're really unsteady, you can take a split stance. And from here, to work on hinging forward and then coming back up. Hinging forward and then coming back up. Key thing is that your working leg, the front one here, is still staying pretty straight. And think about rooting through your whole foot to push yourself back up. Good. So for our seated athletes, we're going to be doing a single arm clean. So we're simply going to start with the weight to one side and then up tall, maintain neutral spine. You're now going to pop that weight up into a front rack position. Pause for a second here at the top and then bring it back down under control, pop it back up, and then repeat. Pop. Back and forth. And we're gonna do this for 30 seconds each side, so make sure you challenge or test out both sides. Good. Does anyone have any issues or questions with the single leg deadlift or the single arm clean? Good. Can I see some thumbs up? All right, we're gonna move on. So the next one's going to be floor scrubbers or table scrubbers. So this is where you guys are going to need a big old towel. Now let me change the view too. All right. So you're going to take that bath towel. You're going to take your backpack full of books or whatever weights you have. 
put that on top of the towel. If you're doing the floor scrubber variation, you transfer to the ground. And from here, oh, I gotta make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Bring that down here, so that's better. So from here, I'm lying on my stomach and I'm gonna slide the towel and the weight over to one side and then slide it to the other side, going back and forth, just like so. The grippier your floor is, the harder this is gonna be. The more it's gonna work your core. The more slick the floor is, it'll be a little bit easier. Still not necessarily easy, but it can definitely be a great exercise. So play around with the weight that helps you out the most. If you notice that doing this uh, makes your neck really tight, lighten the load and just work the form there. For our seated athletes who are gonna be doing, doing everything in a chair, we're gonna take that towel, we're gonna put it on a table. We're gonna roll on up to the table. And from here I have my weight, I'm gonna put it on top of the towel and from here, doing the table scrubbers. Sliding it to one side, and then sliding it to the other side. Going side to side, and this is meant to engage the obliques of your core here, those muscles on the sides. Going side to side for repetition. All right. Find the weight that feels good for you. And does anyone have any issues with the floor or table scrubbers? We good? All right, I see thumbs up. Good, so let's move on. Next thing is gonna be the split squat, subbing split push-ups or single arm isometric uh, overhead press. So what we're gonna be doing here uh, for the split squat, full version with weight, we're gonna take our feet into a stagger stance like so lowering down and then back up. This is a little different from a lunge. In a lunge, we're stepping off. We're stepping back and then coming back to standing here. In a split squat, we're already in the split stance and we're just going straight up and down, just like so. So from the side, looks like this. Keeping your back flat, chest is up. So this is the full version. With weight, you can simply take away the weight and work the split squat this way. Again, maintain that chest upright, back in neutral. Uh, key things here is your knee should track right over your foot as we're doing this. Good. And then we can regress this a little bit by putting your hands on a stable surface, performing the split squat this way. And then if you feel like you need a little bit of security here, what we can do is we can take a chair and put it behind your front leg, split squat down and up. This way, so you go and lower down to the chair and then come back up, just like so. So for our seated athletes who have transferred to the floor, we're gonna be doing some split push-ups. So split push-ups, we're gonna take our hands and instead of having them right in line with each other, one hand is gonna go forward. So I'm gonna put my right hand forward. My left hand is gonna go back a little bit. Now we're gonna do push-ups, just like so. So in a split position, good. We're gonna do 30 seconds in the switch. Now, if this is a little bit too chow too much, what we can do is take a bolster, the backpack full of books that we're using for our workout, and we can put it right underneath your torso, just like so. Do push-ups just like here. So I'm in a split position. And then to make it more challenging, we move that bag progressively further down your body towards your, your feet. And from here, it's gonna be progressively harder and harder as that bag gets closer and closer to your feet. All right, so there's the progressions for the push-up. And then for the single arm, iso single arm overhead press and isometric, you're gonna want an additional weight. So I have a big old book here. So this is gonna be my isometric arm. And then for the overhead press, I have my backpack full of books. So I'm gonna hold an isometric here. Whoop, that's better. Hold, hold an isometric in my right hand and I'm pressing up over my head with my left. Just like so. So you're maintaining that control of your isometric hold while you're pressing. And then we're gonna switch sides. 
Good. So play around with whichever variation works best for you. I may remember to test both sides. Any questions on all the split variations? We good on those? All right, good, we'll move on. Side elbow ups. So side elbow ups from the floor are gonna look like so. I'm gonna lie down on my left side. My left arm is my bottom arm and it's down on the ground. My palm is down on the floor. I'm rolling on my side. My hips are stacked right on top of each other. I have my knees stacked right on top of each other. My ankles stacked right on top of each other. From here, I'm raising my right arm up towards the ceiling. Look, I'm looking at my right fingertips. And now I'm going to pull myself off the floor by pushing through my elbow on my left arm and raising on up towards the ceiling and lowering back down. And key thing here is I'm pulling primarily through my elbow, which is going to engage my upper back and using my oblique muscles here. You want to make sure that you keep your knees down on the ground. Don't let them pop up using momentum to get yourself up. Driving on up and then lower down slow and under control, avoiding this type of motion where you pop your knees up for momentum. Good. And then practice both sides. For seated athletes who are still in the chair, you're going to want to find a table or some kind of elevated surface. And from here, you're going to pitch your arm forward. So I have my left arm out in front of me on top of my table. My right arm is up towards the ceiling. And it's just like on the floor. I'm pulling myself up through my right, left elbow to raise up and then lower down under control. And the higher the table is, the easier this motion is going to be. The lower the table is, the harder it's going to be. That's how you can vary the difficulty here. Good. All right. Any questions on the side elbow up? Are we good on that one? All right, good. All right, last exercise is gonna be the bridge, substituting the double arm elbow up for seated athletes on the floor. So for the bridge, you're gonna be lying on your back, feet flat on the ground, knees are bent. And from here, you can simply do a double leg bridge, keep bringing your hips up off the ground, and then lower them back down for repetitions. Have, take a two second pause at the top, and then lower down for repetitions. If that's super easy for you, we can then progress you to a single leg bridge. So now I've straightened out my left leg, and then I'm pushing up through my right hip to lift my whole pelvis off the floor, and then back down. Key thing though, is you still have to make sure you get full hip extension. Don't short your reps here. Get all the way up, pause one, two, and then back down. Make sure you test out both sides. If you still feel like you need more challenge there, you can take a backpack full of heavy books, put that on your lap, and then perform your bridge that way. <sighs> All right. For our elbow ups, you're going to be lying on your back. Legs are straight. Elbows are going to be pushed through the floor. So I'm pushing through my elbows and using my abdominals here to lift up, hold one, two, and then back down. Key thing here though, is I'm avoiding poking my head forward. I'm pulling my chin straight back as best as I can the entire time. So I'm pushing through my elbows, using my core, lifting up, and I'm keeping my chin back the entire time. And I'm avoiding popping my leg, my leg forward, which can put some strain on your neck. So this more neutral position is ideal. You hold one, two, and then come back down. You can make this even harder on yourself by then adding a single arm reach at the top. Coming to the top, top, hold one, two, reach. Back down, under control. And I repeat, reach the other side. <sighs> that way. And if you're super strong, you do the whole thing on one arm. That's really hard. Yeah. yeah, so those are your progressions. And if you're just an absolute monster, you can throw a backpack on your chest and try that one. All right. Any questions on the bridge or the elbow ups? Good. Ready to get started? I see some yawning though. We need to wake up. All right. Yes. Question. Yeah. Is it a bridge or elbow ups or both? Bridge or elbow up. So whichever right. one works better for you. If you can use your legs, use your legs though. All okay. right. Good. 
Let's get into position then. Grab your weights, get ready for that single leg deadlift or the single arm clean. All right, and let's get started. Grab your weights. Let me pull up my timer. All right, oops, that's not my timer. Here's my timer. All right, and let's get started in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, performing that single leg deadlift, hinging forward, coming back up. Keeping that neutral spine, whoops, I'm falling over. And then coming up. Keep going, repetitiously. Making sure you maintain neutral spine, neutral pelvis, working whatever variation works best for you. Here, we're hinging down, keeping that spine neutral. I can be in a split stance, hinging forward, and then coming back up. Good, three, two, one, switch sides. All right, for our seated athletes, we're doing that single arm clean, pop that arm up to the front rack, and then lower it back down. Going for reps here. Keep going. Make sure you maintain a nice steady breath here. That's gonna be key here. Always be mindful of your breathing. You should be in control of that at all times. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right. Let's transition to the floor for the floor scrubbers. Good. Put your towel on the ground. Weights on top. You're lying down. <sighs> And pull side to side. Keep it moving. And make sure you're still breathing. It's, this one in particular can be easy to hold your breath while you're moving. Try to make sure you stay breathing the entire time. Engaging your obliques and your upper back. Keep it moving. Keep breathing. We're halfway there on this one. Past halfway. Keep moving. And then you're on the table. Working the table slide variation. Less than 15 seconds left. Sliding side to side. Engaging those obliques. Five, four, three, two, one. Next, transition to your split squat variation. Taking a step back, lowering straight down, and then coming back up. Just like so. Really engaging strongly through your front leg. Think about pushing through your whole foot there. As you come on up, you can work some uh, regressions here. You give yourself a little bit of balance. You could even put a chair behind your front leg, lower down, and back up that way. Three, two, one, done. For our seated athletes who have transferred to the floor, we're doing those split push-ups. Just like so. And a split stance. You could put that weight underneath your belly and work a split push up this way and then fine tune how much resistance you need. Keep going, keep breathing. Let's switch sides. Good. Good, and let's move. Keep going, almost there. And then for our seated athletes doing the Overhead press with the ISO hold. This one can get a little tricky with coordinate. Three, two, one, just like so. And rest from that one. Side elbow ups. So on the floor, I'm on my left side, pulling up through my left elbow and lowering down. Keep looking up at the ceiling the entire time. Keep breathing, keep moving. Pull strong through your elbow, engage your upper back and your obliques as you're pulling up. Good. Keep moving, keep breathing. Almost there. And switch sides. So, so if you're in the chair, we're simply propping your arm up on an elevated surface and then pulling up to upright. Good. Keep going, keep breathing. Almost there, keep moving. And five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Done. Bridges and or elbow ups. Or bridges or elbow ups. That's what I meant to say. Bring your hips up. Pause, one, two, and then back down. Up, 
one, two, and back down. Whichever variation, single leg, or maybe even add some weight to this. Working your sink, your elbow ups, <clears throat> pull one, two, and back down. Pull one, two, and back down. Maybe even add that uh, little reach at the top <clears throat> to really challenge your core. <sighs> Good. <clears throat> Keep going. Keep breathing. Maintain that nice steady rhythm here. We're almost there, you guys. Less than 20 seconds, 15 seconds. Keep moving, keep breathing. Good. Less than 10, five, four, three, two, one. Done, all right. Good, how are people doing right now? All right, good. I see people are lying down on the ground, catching their breath. All right, did anyone need more time with transitions? No, good with transitions? All right, good. So then let's continue on. Get a little bit of water though. And then I'm gonna give you guys a few more seconds here to rest before we start round two. All right. So let's get in, start moseying over to your weights. We're getting ready for those single leg deadlifts or single arm cleans for our seated athletes. All right, and find your weights, get in position, and let's get started in five, four, three, two, one, go. Hinging forward and pop it up. Good, good continuous motion here. Hinging cleanly from the hips. Whatever variation works for you, doing single arm cleans, if you're in seated, three, two, one, switch sides. Popping that weight up. Whoop, we're not doing an overhead press today, just to clean. So get reps here. Pop. Bring it up and back down. Pop it up into that front rack, control it and back down. Make sure that you are upright as best as you can when you're doing these single arm cleans. Try not to let the weight pull you to one side. Good, keep it going, keep breathing. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Transition to the floor for the floor scrubbers or work the table scrubbers if you're doing that variation. Itch. And slide over side to side. Engage in the core, your obliques, and even the back of your shoulders a bit too with this. Keep it going. Keep breathing, nice steady rhythm here, whether you're on the table or on the floor. There we go. Keep it going. Keep breathing, that's key here. Good continuous movement. All right, almost there, 15 seconds left. Keep breathing, 10 seconds. Good, five, four, Three, two, one, done. All right, transition over to your split squat variations or a split push-up variation. All right, so if you're transferred to the ground, put that weight underneath you, hands in a split position, doing push-ups this way. And then breaking it progressively harder by sliding that bolster down your torso. Good, we'll transition in five, four, three, two, one, split squats. Maybe using some hand support or no hand support or adding load. Good, keep it going, keep breathing. Make sure as you're doing this, your knee still stays tracking right over your foot. Try to avoid doing any funkiness with your knee going side to side. Good, five, Four, three, two, one. Good. Transition to side elbow ups. Bottom arms on the ground. And then pulling through your bottom elbow, keeping your knees down on the ground, up towards the ceiling, and back down. Pull through your bottom elbow so that you're reaching your top arm towards the ceiling. Lower back down, slow and under control. And again, avoid using your legs to build momentum. Make this come from your upper back and your core. 
Good continuous motion there. Three, two, one, done. Switch sides. Seated variation again. I'm out to the side, pulling up to upright. So I'm leaning to the side, pulling through my elbow, coming up to upright. Again, make sure you're still challenging yourself. Keep breathing though. Almost there, keep it going. 10 seconds left. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Transition over to your bridge or elbow ups. All right. So bridges, elbow ups. Keep moving, particularly with the elbow ups. Make sure you keep your head back. Don't let it pop forward. Maybe out of the reach. Oh, I forgot to demonstrate the seated only version of the elbow up. Good. So scoot into the front of the chair, leaning back. And from here, your elbows are wide. And then you're squeezing your elbows together to pop yourself up in the chair. If anyone's doing that variation or if anyone who's going to be watching later is going to be doing that. Keep it going. Keep breathing. You got 20 seconds left. Almost there, you guys. Whatever variation you're on. If you're doing single legs, make sure you're alternating. I think I forgot to mention that during the practice period. Good. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right. Take a breather. All right. Whew. I'm mute. All right. How are you guys doing? All right, still alive. I don't think anyone's died yet. So take a little swig of water, slow down your breathing a little bit, and then we'll get started again in about 20 seconds. All right, good. Still feeling good with all the, the exercises? All right, good. So 10 seconds left here in your break. Start gathering your stuff, get ready for round three. All right, I gotta make sure I switch legs here. I'm only training my right leg. All right, let's get started in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, make sure you're working that clean hip hinge. Good, smooth motion, neutral hips, neutral spine. Maybe adding some load to that. Maybe adding some balance support to that. Adjusting your positioning. Maybe working the hip hinge with one foot on, with both feet on the floor. Whatever works for you. Keep going. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Working those single arm cleans for our seated athletes. Good. Pop that weight up into your front rack. Control it. And then lower it back down. Pop that weight up. Hold in the front rack. Lower under control. Make sure you're trying to keep your new, your spine in as neutral position as possible the entire time. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right. Let's transition over to the floor scrubbers or table scrubbers. So I'm gonna do some floor scrubbers this round. Table towels on the floor. Backpacks on top of the towel, and we're moving. Good, side to side, pulling each way, still breathing. As best as you can, try to keep your lower body rooted into the ground. Try to avoid folding yourself into like a C, thinking like you're trying to make yourself into a J or a candy cane, whichever visual works better for you. Sliding side to side, keep it going, 20 seconds here. Keep going. Good, consistent breathing. All right, 10 seconds left. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Transition over to your split squats or your split push ups, whichever version you're working on. Hit. We also have for our people who are still in the chair the single arm. Overhead press with the ISO hold. Good. Pressing your heavier weight over your head, holding a book or a lighter weight 
and the other arm in that front rack position. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Almost there. Three, two, one. Done. Switch sides. Sit. Or switch your split. Is how I, the what I probably should have said. Keep going. Good consistent movement. Make sure you maintain good posture the entire time. Work in that split squat. I'm gonna work my left leg here. Staying upright as best you can. Keep that chest wide and proud. Spine neutral. Three, two, one, done. Transition over to your side elbow ups. All right. Bottom arm is working for you. Pull through the floor or the table. Reach your fingers up towards the ceiling the entire time and keep them pointed up as you lower slow under control. Coming up and down. Good, consistent motion. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, done. Switch sides. All right, and get to it. Pulling through the bottom arm, up towards the ceiling, and then lower down. Pulling on up, and lower down. Good. Keep it going. We're almost there, less than 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Done, transition over to your bridges or elbow ups. Picking the hips up off the ground and back down. Maybe adding some weight to that. Double leg with weight or single leg with weight. Alternating the leg. Keep going, keep breathing. Good continuous motion. We could do our elbow ups. Maybe with that some weight on your chest. Oh my God, that's hard. Whoa. Hold, one, two. Oh, that's really hard. Maybe I can add a reach. Yeah, no, that's too hard. Look, yep, that's too hard. Keep going. Good continuous motion. 15 seconds left, keep moving. Keep going, keep breathing. 10 seconds. Whatever variation you're on, keep going. Keep going, five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, another rest break here. All right, how's the crew doing? Still alive, we're making it. All right, are any of the exercises too easy right now? No, plenty hard. All right, good. Just wanna make sure we're challenging you guys enough. All right, so. Continue, continue to catch your breath a little bit. You got 20 seconds left with this rest break. Get a little bit of water. And then for these last two rounds, rounds four and five, if you're starting to feel a little bit tired, something doesn't feel good, slow yourself down, take some breaks, and then make sure you're still moving well. That's priority number one. All right, let's go ahead and find your weights, get in position, get ready for round four single leg deadlifts or single arm clean. All right, and let's get started. Unmute my audio, mute you guys. All right, get started in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, and let's move. Working that single leg deadlift, maybe with some hand assist, whoops, too far. Some hand assist or on your split, making sure that it's still a hip hinge, this type of motion. Pushing the butt back, chest forward, and put rooting through your feet. Good. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Single arm clean and presses. Pop. To the front rack. Whoop, no press today. Just to the front rack. Boom. Clean it up and then back down. Pop it up and then back down. Good. Keep moving. Keep breathing. Less than 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Transition to your floor scrubbers. All right. Weights on top of your towel. You're on the floor. Oop. And pull side to side. Scrub your floor. Spray some Windex on the floor too. Clean it while you're here. Yeah, pull it side to side. Keep going. Keep moving. Make sure your breath is still under control. 
Try to avoid holding your breath during these exercises. If you can't breathe in a position, you will not survive there. So breathe. Make sure you have control of your breath the entire time. If you're starting to lose control of your breath, slow yourself down. Maybe pause for a little bit. Lighten your load. 10 seconds left. Make sure that you are still in control of the movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right. Transition over to your split squats or split push ups. All right. Split squat, one leg in front. Doing this motion here. You can add some weight to it. Make sure your chest is still up, spine is in neutral and your front foot is tracking in front of your toes. Good, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Done, all right. Switch sides, switch your split. If you're doing push-ups, we're here. Keep your elbows underneath you as best you can. Try to avoid flaring them out if you're doing the, the push-ups or the overhead presses. That's important here for shoulder health. Maintain good position as best as you can. 10 seconds left. Keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Transition over to your side elbow ups. All right, whether you're doing the seated or on the floor. Seated, we're pulling up and raising up towards the ceiling. Keep your fingertips on your top arm, reaching up, and you're pulling strong through your elbow. Good. And keep it moving. 20 seconds in, 10 seconds left on this side. Keep it going. Keep pulling. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. All right. So here I got my right arm on bottom. Left arm's pointing up to the ceiling. I'm lying on my side and I'm pulling through my right elbow into the floor to raise myself up off the floor. Keeping my right, left arm pointed up at the ceiling. Keep going. Keep breathing. Get that good squeeze behind your shoulder blade. Oh, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right. Transition over to the bridge or the elbow ups. Whichever version is still working for you. Good. Bridge it up. Hold one, two, and then back down. Bridge up. Hold one, two, and then down. Keep that moving. Whether you're doing the double leg or single leg. If you're doing single leg, make sure you're still alternating. If you're still adding weights to your hips, you're doing great. You're, you're a beast. You need to challenge, find ways to make this even harder for you. Good, keep it going. If you're doing elbow ups, making sure that you maintain your, that chin back. Don't pop your head forward. Make sure you're still holding for a two count. One, two at the top. Up, one, two, and then back down. Try to avoid just plopping yourself up and down. This with the hold is what's going to make you work. 10 seconds left. Keep breathing. Hold one, two, and then back down. Make sure you maintain that control of the movement. Up one, two, three, two, one, done. All right. Making great time. All right. Uh, there we go. All right. So we got one more round left. How's the crew doing? Ready to rock and roll for round five? All right, good. So you got another 20 seconds left on this rest break. Slow your breath down for a little bit. And just like I kept, keep saying, if you're starting to feel a little bit, slow yourself down. Make sure that you're moving well before you move a lot. And then when you are moving well, move as much as you can. So we have about 10 seconds left. This is break. Find your weights. Get in position for that single leg deadlift or the single arm clean. All right. Let's get started in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. Find your weights. Work that single leg deadlift. Keep going. Keep moving. Last round. Really engage those glutes, the muscles in your back, AKA your butt. These muscles are really key for stabilizing you from your hips down. Good, keep it moving. 
Keep breathing. Three, two, one. Done. Switch sides. All right. For a seated athlete, you're doing that clean, single arm clean. Popping that weight up into the front rack. Keep it going. Good. Good, consistent motion. Keep going, keep breathing. Almost there. Less than five seconds left. Three, two, one, done. All right, transition to your floor scrubbers. Whether you're doing them on the floor or on the table here. Good. I'm gonna finish up with a round on the table because my table actually has more friction than my floor. I'm gonna make my abs work some here. All right, and pull side to side. Best as you can. Oh. Keep that breath. Keep it going. Almost there, you guys. Home stretch, last round. 20, less, uh, almost 20 seconds left of these scrubbers. 20 seconds left. Keep it going. Try to really go as far as you can. Try not to short your reps here. Go through the full range of motion. Good, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done, all right. Let's go into those split squats or split push-ups. Good, if you're doing the split squats, have that chair behind you if you need it. Squatting down, back up. Maybe take away that hand support. Maybe take away the chair, work a larger range of motion. Maybe take away the hand support. Maybe continue working that full version that you were doing before. Just make sure your spine is still in neutral. Good. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Switch sides. If you're still in the chair, doing the iso hold, single arm press. Keep going. Just don't drop your book on your toes. Good. Continuous motion here. Keep breathing. Keep moving. If you're on the floor, keep going. Keep that core tight. Keep pressing. Keep your elbows underneath you. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Transition back to your elbow ups. Yeah, I should bring this with me so I can track time. Good. Bottom arms on the floor or on the table. Pull yourself up towards the ceiling and then lower back down. Keep it moving. Consistent, continuous movement here. We're doing this for a reason here. It builds up your cardiovascular system. It's way, or I think it's way better than running for 30 minutes. Running for 30 minutes sucks. I would much rather do this circuit for 30 minutes. Good, switch sides. All right. Keep it moving, constant movement. Good, home stretch, you guys. You got this and one more exercise and then you're done. You can go celebrate your Memorial Day. <sighs> Keep it going. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, last exercise, bridges or elbow ups. Bring the hips up and lower back down. Up, hold one, two, and then back down. Whichever version that you're doing, maybe single leg alternating, maybe it's still adding some weight to your hips, but make sure you're not shorting your reps. Get full hip extension here. Same thing with your elbow ups. Get all the way up, hold one, two, and then back down. Hold one, two, up, hold one, two, and then back down. Working those end points there. Keep going. If you're in the chair, whoops. If you're in the chair, starting with your, scooting to the front, elbows out wide, and then squeeze your elbows in together to pop yourself up. Hold one, two, and back down. Up, hold one, two, and then back down. Keep it moving. Almost there, you guys. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Woo. You're done. You made it. All right. Who felt like this was an easy workout and that we need to make it way harder next time? Huh? <laughs> No, I see, I see head shaking. Good. All right. Uh, any questions on the workout that we did today? I think it was a good workout. Awesome. 
Thanks, Ian. It's, it's just really hot. It, yeah. it is really hot. Uh, make sure getting, that you're yeah. keeping yourself well hydrated uh, in the summer as we start transitioning over to summer. Uh, and then, but still keep exercising. Just take care of yourself too. Good. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Memorial Day. Uh, and then I will see you guys this week. Take care, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have fun with yours. Bye.